you know, really, the heart of mathematics is coming up with arguments that actually verify for certain, certain mathematical facts, which we call theorems. Now, to actually produce an argument, we call that a proof. So in mathematics, we want to prove theorems. And there are lots of techniques that are used to prove theorems. In geometry, we see lots of techniques to prove that certain geometrical figures are congruent to other geometrical figures. And in other walks of mathematics, we use other techniques. If you want to prove a formula actually holds, sometimes you use a technique called induction. So let's take a look at an example where I want us to prove a particular identity holds using mathematical induction. So here's what I want to prove. I want us to prove that the sum, k going from 1 to n, of 2 to the k, which, by the way, just means that I have the sum of powers of 2, 2 to the first, 2 squared, 2 cubed, out to the last one, 2 to the n. I want to prove that that sum is always equal to 2 to the n plus 1 minus 2. Now, how do we prove this using mathematical induction? So to prove this, what we have to do is show that the first domino falls. That's called the base case. So we want to show that the statement is true when n equals the smallest value possible, which is 1. So let's show that first. So first we verify the base case. So how do you verify this in the base case? Well, we let n equals 1 and see what this formula gives us. So then we're summing up k equals 1 to 1 of 2 to the k. And that equals just the sum of 2 itself. We start with k equals 1 and we stop immediately. So we get 2. Does that equal, question mark, this side? Well, that's going to be 2 to the 2 plus 1 power minus 2. Well, 2 plus 1 is 3. And so here we, I'm sorry, 1 plus 1. So sorry, n is 1, n is 1. So we have 2 to the 2 power minus 2. Well, that equals 4 minus 2. Well, that equals 2. Well, notice that, in fact, this 2 equals that 2. So we see these sides are actually equal, which means in the base case, when n equals 1, the first possible value for n, we see that this formula holds true in that special case, because we see 2 equals 2. That's the base case. That means that the first domino does fall down. Now we have to verify that, in fact, if one domino falls down somewhere, the next domino must fall down. That means we have to make an assumption. So we have to assume that the statement is true for some particular natural number k. And what we want to do is we want to prove that the statement is true for the next one. So this is the domino phenomena, right? We're going to assume that domino k falls. We want to show that implies that domino k plus 1 must fall as well. So what does it mean to assume the statement is true uh, for natural number k? What that means is we assume that we have this identity holding. That if we sum out up to k, then we get 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2. And what we want to do now is prove that this exact same statement holds if we change the exponent to k plus 1. So let's actually now verify this. So let's now consider this expression, 2 plus 2 squared plus 2 cubed all the way out to 2k. But now I'm going to add on extra term 2k plus 1. Well, what do I know? Well, by my assumption, I know that this first group is exactly this. So I'm assuming that equals this quantity right here. So I know that all of this equals 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2. That's exactly this. But don't forget, this new sum has this extra term tacked on. Well, actually, we can combine these things, because here I have 2 to the k plus 1 plus another 2 to the k plus 1. How many 2 to the k plus 1s do I have? I've got two of them. So I have 2 times 2 to the k plus 1 minus 2. And what do we do? Well, the, the laws of exponents tell me that I add. So I see 2 to the first power plus 2 to the k plus 1 power. That's 2 to the k plus 2 power minus 2, which I can write as 2 to the k plus 1 plus 1 minus 2, because that's just 1 plus 1 is 2, so I'm writing it in a funny way. But the power is that now I see the statement we're trying to prove holding when n equals k plus 1. Check it out. If I sum up to k plus 1, 
the answer I get is indeed k plus 1 plus 1. So when we sum up to k plus 1, the answer I get confirms with this expression here. k plus 1 here, I see k plus 1 plus 1. So in fact, what that shows me is, we just established, that when we assume the statement holds for k, we just proved that in fact it holds for k plus 1. What that means is, what we have now is the following. We know that if any one statement is true, then when we add 1 to that k, the next statement is true. Well, since we knew that the very first statement is true, the base case was true, that means that we know the first domino falls, and then we know that means that the second domino must fall, which means the third domino must fall, which means the fourth domino must fall, they all fall, therefore the statement is true for all natural numbers, n, by induction. We took a look at the base case, we made the inductive hypothesis that it's true in a particular case, we proved it was true for the next case, and that proves it for all cases. Mathematical induction, very cool.